Welcome, I'm Robin, and today I will present you our work with Krista Fino, Mark Christie, and Vicky Caloretan about high-level pictures for movie style understanding. This work is done at Lecon Polytechnic and in Roya in France. So first, movies and TV shows represent a large amount of video data that could be exploited. Nevertheless, this content is very complex to analyze and to understand as they operate on multiple sensory and cognitive levels. Most of the current approaches only use low-level features such as the dominant color of the frames or the length of the shots. However, we truly believe that they are not sufficient at all for movie style analyzing. We illustrate the inefficiency of low-level features. We tackled a director classification task using a 3D ResNet with raw frames from a subset of the condensed movies dataset. We can see here the resulting TSNE visualization of the learned representation. We observe five natural clusters. We note that each of them is composed by movies in black and white or from the same decade. On this basis, we believe that the network learns low-level visual features such as the amount of blur that highly characterizes the technical evolution of camera over the decades. Therefore, we think that high-level features are needed for movie style analysis. The intuition behind this work is to reproduce the cinematography experts' approach who analyze a movie through different angles. Thus, we design seven high-level features that we split in three categories. First, character-based features. Characters are in the center of movies. Thus, it is essential to understand how the director shot them and how they progress, spatially and temporally. Then, composition-based features. Frame composition gives us information about the complexity of the mise scene of a director. Finally, camera-based features. It's important to understand the camera BAU since this is one way for the director to express intentions. Moreover, camera is also the eye of the audience. I will now present you the seven features. First, we have two character-based features, character segmentation and character pose estimation. For both of these features, we track them within space and time. Then we have three composition-based features, two that already exist and one that we propose. Specifically, the first one is depth estimation with an example of a character coming from the back of the scene. Then we have focus estimation with another great example of a change of focus between foreground and background. Finally, we have frame layering. Frame layering is a feature that we design that aims to retrieve the structure of the mise-en-scene with the different layers. For instance, foreground, the different middle grounds, and background. Finally, we have two camera-based features, one that already exists and one that we propose. Camera pose estimation in the toric space to understand the camera behavior, and then camera motion detection. For the camera motion detection, we design a pipeline that estimates the six degrees of freedom of the camera from the optical flow. Finally, it's important to remind that it's still an open problem and it paves the way for the future research in this area. Our short-term objective is to design new features such as audio-based features that we do not explore at all in this work. And finally, long, our long-term objective is to explore latent representation of our models to understand what they learn and which feature is important. So thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoyed this work.